Hey, how you doing? I'm Big Paulie. This guy over here is Benny Two Times. How you doing? And we are the Wise Guys. And we're here to bring you our award-winning show, We Pick the Winners. Where? We, we Pick, pick the, the Winners. winners. Who gave us that award? Yeah, you know what? That's just old hat. Yeah, let's move on. Somebody's <laughs> going to give us an award. We're not worried about it. All right. This is the part of the show where we tell you about the rest of the show. Of course, we have that wonderful bust out, bust out game of the week. We also have our ironclad lock, lead pipe cinch, personally picked, whack, whack of the week. week. And of course, as we have been doing the last few weeks, we got our guest wax that we pick live randomly on the show. And you guys, we got a bunch. Yeah, you did a good job this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for contributing. Now, who's going to help us? Do those random live picks on the show. It's my favorite part. My favorite part, too, and it's all your favorite part. Those wonderful, those amazing, those beautiful trivia girls. Hi, my Hello, Miss Fitch. How are you today? Oh, it's so Fitch. good to see you. Hey, I was worried. I'm glad to see you here. Um, so apparently Stan did not ask you to go to Australia with him. Hmm? No. So this is where all the magic happens. You must be Big Polly and Vinny two times. Yeah? Who wants to know? I'm Tiffany. Tiffany Glass. Perhaps you know my big sister, Cristal? Big sister? Huh. Oh, uh, speaking of Cristal, uh, she kind of rushed out of here last week. Yeah, she got a big two-picture deal with back end points. Well, she wants me to fill in for her while she's away. What, and be a trivia girl? I don't know. It takes a particular set of assets to be a trivia girl. Well, these do. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah. It works for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, since we have a full contingent of trivia girls, leave us pick some games. Yeah, let's pick some games. Okay, first up, we got the Seattle Seahawks at the Chicago Bears as the Cinderella Seahawks takes on, hmm. takes their show on the road against uh, Jay Cutler and the Bears defense at Soldier Field. Okay, Polly, who do you like? I like the Chicago Bears and the Bears defense at Soldier Field. Hmm. I'm just flabbergasted that Seattle <laughs> won the game last yeah, week. I think a bunch of people I, are. I am in shock. Hey, hey, our, our people picked that, you know, Razzle yeah, too, yeah, and yeah, Studio they, Motions. Uh, yeah. They picked those games. Holy mackerel. I'm picking the Bears. <laughs> Who are you picking? I like the way you're thinking on that, mm-hmm. boy, but I'm going a little different route. I'm jumping on the Seattle bandwagon. I'm going with you, Pete Carroll. I think you could do it because here's what really tipped me over. They came into Chicago earlier in the year, and they beat them, and I think they can do it again. I like Pete Carroll in this one. He's going to coach him up. I like it in a squeaker, 24-22. There you go. There you go. What are you thinking on this, Vanessa? Oh, my. I'm going with the Chicago Bears. Yeah, Seattle yeah. Seahawks, this Cinderella story is over. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's, it's hard to beat the same team twice in the same year. Yeah, so. yeah. I okay. think this is uh, past midnight and everything's turned into a pumpkin. Really? But I do believe I'm hearing some grinding teeth out of Miss <laughs> Tiffany over there. What, what's going on? I want to go with the Seahawks because I love the rain. <laughs> She is her sister's sister. You got that right. All right. Well, there you go. We're split down the middle. That's that segment. Go grab a beer, and we'll see you on the other side. So, you're Crystal's little sister. So, you're FBI. Wait, I don't know anything about that. Relax, I'm undercover. Officer Sydney Savings. Detective Maloney sent me in as soon as Officer Banks. Crystal went AWOL. So, wait. You're Officer Savings. She's Officer Banks, and she was dating Officer so long. You get it? Savings, banks, and loans. Are you done? We haven't had a report in weeks. Bring me up to speed. Okay, okay. These guys, Vinny and Polly, they're good. They play the buffoon, but they're hiding something. Duh, that's why we're here. Now, we need to connect them to Nico and the Danucci family. <laughs> good luck with that, but how did you know Crystal had left? We are a top-notch investigating team. So how did you really find out she left? She sent us a postcard. Uh-huh. So, uh, I'm just concerned with Crystal in Australia. What, what does Donnie think of all this? Donnie? Mm-hmm. You mean Donald P. Smith? Mm-hmm. Never heard of him. Okay. Oh, we're back. And uh, now it is time for the Bust Out, Bust Out Game of the Week. Vinny, tell us what you got. Okay, our Bust Out Game has the Baltimore Ravens at the Pittsburgh Steelers as the Steelers and Ravens turn the 2010 series into a trilogy. Okay, Polly, who do you like? I went back and forth on this. Baltimore's playing great ball, but it's the Steelers that I love at home. Baltimore's playing great ball. It's the Steelers that I love at home. I'm going with the Steelers that I love at home. Yes, I'm looking for the Steelers to win this. That's the way it is. What do you got? I like that pick, Polly. It's a good pick. Mm-hmm. I looked at it a little different way. I like the mountain of quarterback, which is Brett, which is Roth, Ben Roethlisberger. You got and Brett I, Favre on the, on the brain. Yeah, still, he's, he's trying to come But out. it is Roethlisberger. It's you Roethlisberger. were right. Yeah, so. And I like the locomotion, locomotion, locomotive. <laughs> I like locomotion. Yeah, locomotion, locomotive with the hair. They call Palomano on defense. And I think they're just going to tunnel through the, the Ravens. And I like Pittsburgh in a blowout 74-3. to Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. So what are you looking at there, Vanessa? Pittsburgh. 
Pittsburgh. They're playing at home. <laughs> and they won a few years ago. It's true. It's, it's true. true. It's about time, you know. So what are you looking at, Tiffany? Pittsburgh. I, I like the name. Nice. Very She's good. She's definitely her sister. Definitely sister. sister, sister. All right. Well, that includes our bust out, bust out game of the week. And now it is time for our lead pipe cinch, ironclad lock, whack, whack of the week. week. Very nicely done. And what do you got this time, Benny? Okay. My can't miss. Got to have it. Whack of the week. As the New York Jets at the New England Patriots, as Tom Brady looks to continue his home mastery over the surging Jets. Okay. Looks like, you know, with the Jets, they, they rely a lot on Revis on an island here. But who's he cover? They can't, he can't cover everybody. And then you got Tom Brady. He shaves that neck. He's unstoppable, okay? I'm looking at Tom Brady and the New England Patriots blowing out the Jets at home 74-3. to There you go. And uh, Tom Brady has not thrown an interception in so long that he has set multiple records mm-hmm. at this point in time. And he's going to have another game without an interception. I'm looking at the New England Patriots to win this game. Good pick, Polly. Good pick. Vanessa? the cutest quarterback in the league, the New England Patriots. There you go. All right. Hey, Tiffany, what are you thinking? Tom Brady is so yummy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Apparently, Tom Brady is so yummy. And uh, we're all going for New England. That was your whack of the week. That was my whack of the week. And now it is time for my personally picked ironclad lock lead pipe cinch whack of the week. That's a hell of a whack. Yeah, my game, and that was just my wrist, yeah, you know. That's true. And my game features the Green Bay Packers going to Atlanta to play the Atlanta Falcons at home. It features the red hot Aaron Rodgers going head head to head against the very steady Matt Ryan for playoff respectability. Apparently, the Green Bay Packers not getting no respect. It's true. It's unimaginative. You know what I mean? Look, I think the Green Bay Packers are going to win this. I think Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers has another great game in him, and that's what's going to happen. What are you looking at? Yeah, I, I don't know, but I like Green Bay, but I'm going a little different routes. Are you kidding me? Atlanta at home? How do you go against Steady Matt Ryan? I, and he's going to be throwing to Roddy White. They're going to be pounding it on the ground. I just, I just think they're going to overwhelm Green Bay. I think it's going to be a tight one, though, 24-21. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a good game. What are you looking at, Vanessa? Are you kidding me? I'm going with Atlanta. Green Bay beat my Eagles last week. Die, Green Bay, die. It's, it's, like Atlanta. it's a shame she never gets passionate about her football games. And yeah. uh, finally, uh, Miss Tiffany, what are you looking at for this game? Go, Green Bay. I love the color green. Wow. It must be that fashion thing. It runs in a family. Yeah. Hey, well, that covers all of that stuff. That was my whack of the week. And now it's time for your whack of the week. That's right. Randomly picked. Your guest wax that was sent in to us, and we are about to read on the air live. Miss Vanessa, would you like to start us off, please? I will. Thank you. I have Josepher2011. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. He picks the Green Bay Packers over the Atlanta Falcons. Hey, Josepher, good pick, but you almost good got pick. me hit here. So, you know. Hey, uh, Miss Tiffany, what do you got there? Will you read one for me? Steve Nash, 1386. Welcome back. Picks. The Chicago Bears over the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I think you just made Miss Tiffany cry, but good pick. Gutsy pick there. Gutsy pick. Okay, I got SpinnerNet1. Welcome back. Thanks, SpinnerNet, for everything. Yes, yeah, and he picks the Atlanta Falcons over the Green Bay Packers. I like the way you pick SpinnerNet. Good pick. Thanks anyway, SpinnerNet. And uh, finally, I've got, oh, this is uh, somebody new. We appreciate your watching the show. DJV2448, and he picks... The Baltimore Ravens <laughs> over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. Hey, last last week the newbies got it right. So yeah, they did. That's the truth. That's the truth. You know, a bunch of people picked uh, Seattle to win last week, and, and they did. Gee whiz. Ooh, I think Amazing. we need to sell some merchandise. Yeah, yeah. It's time for you guys to go visit our website. Uh, go visit thewiseguys.net and look at all this amazing swag that you can pick up. Now, wouldn't this look good on your table? So, Vinny, Polly, how am I doing? Not bad. Yeah, you're natural. You know, Cristal would tell me so much about you guys. I feel like I'm already part of the family. Cristal's a good kid. Yeah, she is a friendly girl. She was always telling me all these stories about all these crazy characters that would come and go. Like, um, Nico. Never heard of him. You're winning. That doesn't ring a bell. Unless she means Nico Woods, the golfer. That's Tiger Woods. Oh, she means uh, Nico Jordan, the basketball player. That's Michael Jordan. Oh, I know who she means. Nico Manning, the football player. Colts, Giants. Neither. New Orleans Saints. That's Archie. Archie Manning. Forget I asked. (laughs) Yeah, I went old school. (laughs) Well played. Oh, I 
just got it. You know what she was asking us about? What's that? I think she was making a classic reference to the captain from Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Oh, you mean Captain Nico? Absolutely. No, 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 no. I think she was talking about the guy who does the, the, the American Bandstand for oh, all you, those years. Oh, you mean Nico Clark? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 wait a minute. She was talking about the big fat guy in the red suit who rides around in a sleigh with a reindeer and hands out uh, presents to the children every you Christmas. Mean, right? You mean Saint Nico? Yeah. Can you just start the music? All right, all right, all right. Oh, somebody got impatient there. Hey, there's the music. the music, and that means that it's the end of the show, and that means it's a part of the show where we say thank you to all the people that made our show possible. First and foremost, we want to say thank you to those wonderful people at the Wacker 6000. That would be us. So thank you, Vinny Tooth Time. Thank you, Big Bully. And we want to say thank you to everyone who made this possible. Today, there's only two of them in the studio with us, and that would be those wonderful, those amazing, those beautiful trivia girls. Thanks, wise guys. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part. Oh, yeah, so everybody did a good job. Yeah, today, so sure. unfortunately, we didn't do so good last week. No, in the bets. we didn't. I went one and three. I went one and three. Yeah, so uh, not so hot. Hey, if you're if you're betting on the games, don't, don't listen, listen to us, us <laughs> all right? <laughs> and don't forget to keep sending in your guest wax, even though there's only two games next week in the, in the championship round. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll probably we'll boil it down to where we take two next week and maybe one for the Super Bowl. Yeah, and join us next week for the uh, championship games, and then two weeks from now with our Super Bowl special. All right, come on back on. We pick the winners. Where? where? We, we pick, pick the, the winners. winners. Well done, well done. Yeah, you know. yeah. So, Tiffany Glass, huh? Mm-hmm. And your sister, Crystal Glass. Mm-hmm. And there's Mama and Papa Glass, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a whole house full of glasses. No, I think they're Mama and Papa Stein. <laughs> As the Cinderella Seahawks take the show on the road against Jake.